Hey guys, welcome back. It's uh, another Frag Friday. So um, today we have to frag some acros. So I know I already got a million of them here, um, but look at all this room we got over there. So and uh, you know it's um, frag swap season. So I am gonna fly through these. Um, they're gonna sell like hotcakes. So we're gonna need need more and. Uh, you know, the frag shows start in about a, a month or so, so we, we uh, have just enough time to start pumping out some frags and getting them to, to encrust really good, so they look uh, amazing for the show. All right, so <clears throat> let me see. So I got a little tray here so I don't drip all over the place. Um, let me see. So this guy right here, this definitely needs to be fragged, so... This was just a little frag itself not too long ago, and uh, I mean, geez, look at this thing. So we can make some huge frags out of this. What I like to do first is I like to get a bunch of these all set up, and I, I use the big ones just so they don't tip over as much, you know. I don't know how many we're going to make, but 4, 8, let's start, let's do 12 for now. So what we want to do is... I always prep them all by like, you know, just spreading out a little glue to get a lot of surface area of attachment for the glue. So let's see here. All right, so I have to decide. Do I make little frags out of each tip or do I cut the whole branch off and sell that as a, as a whole frag? Um, I'm a big fan of these guys. These are just the, the little ones, so I think I'll make some little frags and some big frags. Um, we got time, they're, they're gonna grow out really good by then. So, here we go. Let's turn it on. All right. frags too. So see these uh, see these little nubs here? Those are going to be big branches too so try to keep those on the frag. Although if I kept it on the colony they would grow, regrow faster but uh, these are going to grow fast anyway. And then I can do here. I can go the hard part you gotta dip it so that it starts solidifying and then give it a little spin the spin helps get the bubbles out look at this one this one's real nice so take this put it on the bottom in the middle, tip it in the water, give it a little spin, and presentations everything so you gotta make sure it's right centered. And these you don't want to put too much glue because the bubbles will get huge. So you give it a little dunk. little spin so you can see the kind of see the bubbles growing a little bit but giving it the spin kind of stops them from growing and it wraps around the base of the the coral kind of holds it in there so then what you do is you come in here with the turkey baster kind of knock off any 
debris, you know, or there's sometimes there's slime, all kinds of stuff. So just kind of give it a good cleaning. You can visibly see the dirt coming off of them. And basically you want to kind of put it in the same light that it's that it came from. And you can see the, the sides, which side had the light. So you kind of want to spin them so that, you know, the side that was used to getting direct light is showing, shining towards the most light still. But yeah, we'll let these grow for a month and uh, they're going to have all kinds of branches by then and they'll be ready to go. So there you go. I'm going to do this for about eight more hours. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'll see you guys next Friday.